Hi, I'm Lucy from Sew Essential and I'm here today with seven key jacket styles for spring. Everything I talk about, patterns and fabrics, will be linked below and you'll also find a link to our weekly newsletter for a healthy dose of sewing inspiration straight to your inbox. So in recent years, I've invested in a few more jackets just to give me more options with my outfits during the spring months and also the evenings as well. Um, and I just thought it'd be nice to pick out seven key sort of uh, jacket styles that have been really popular in recent years and just pick out the patterns and fabrics you could use to create them but do tell me in the comments if I've missed one of your favorite jacket styles do tell me what you really like to wear and what you would like to sew up as well because I'm always interested to hear that but let's get started with the first pattern now so this one is the trendy one this is going to be a key trend this year and it is the cropped blazer so it's just your traditional fitted blazer but instead of coming down to sort of hip length or uh, uh, sort of upper thigh length, you go in for a cropped length that cuts at the waist. Um, and they're calling it office punk. It's just a bit of a twist, a bit of a contemporary twist on traditional tailoring. But I think it's a really lovely, easy to wear trend. Um, I actually had one of these years ago and I lost it on a night out many years ago. Um, and I wish I still had it now because it would have been perfect for this trend. Um, but yeah, people, will be wearing them either with wide leg trousers, put them on with your favourite jeans, and then you've also got the option as well of just creating a coordinating skirt or dress to wear under it. So you can dress it up, dress it down, really easy to chuck on at the weekends. I think it's a great trend. And the pattern I chose was McCall's 8155, and it gives you three different views. So you've got the cropped jacket, which is the on-trend look that I'm talking about. You've also got an option for a jacket that's got a peplum and like a diamond shaped hem. Um, and then there's also an option for a really cute double breasted um, sort of blazer style top, sleeveless top um, and then like a midi length skirt with a sexy slit at the front um, to create a sleeveless dress for spring summer as well which would look lovely and smart um, and yeah is a really nice look as well. The great thing about this pattern, it's really size inclusive. So it goes up to a 32, which is a 54 bust, 49 waist and a 56 hip. And it's designed to be sewn up in wool crepes, wool blends, tweeds, that sort of thing. When I was scouting out this trend and looking online, I noticed that most of them were sewn up in those sort of traditional suiting fabrics in quite neutral colours. And that's a good idea in my opinion, because it means it's going to go with lots of different Things. so you could chuck it on with your jeans and a white t-shirt or you could wear it with um, a, you know a smart skirt or a black dress um, so I chose this gorgeous 100% wool dead stock it's X designer dead stock um, Prince of Wales check fabric in this grey colour so it's just a timeless classic so it's worth putting the time and effort in to make the jacket and it would go with lots of different things and I've got a piece of this at home that I took home to make a skirt with I washed it on 30 degrees and it came out beautifully so I just thought I'd mention that as well so that is my first jacket style the next one is one of my firm favourites. I've got two of these. It's the Parker jacket. So it's been fashionable for a really long time now. Um, and I just find them so useful to just chuck on when I'm doing the school run or if I'm nipping to the shops. If it's raining, you just want something to cover up. Um, I think it's a really sort of timeless sort of um, classic really the Parker I think you know it's always been here and here in and out of fashion hasn't it and um, yeah it's just a really practical useful jacket to have in your wardrobe in my opinion so the pattern I chose for this one was Simplicity 9052 which is a unisex pattern and you've got options for the traditional sort of longer Parker length um, with the option for a drawstring at the hem and then a drawstring at the waist and then it's got some great patch pockets, a collar, um, I think the hood's optional that you can attach to it as well and then there's also the option for a shorter parker jacket that hits at probably like the high thigh um, so yeah I think it would be a really fun project to sew it's Mrs Men's and Teens so you can sew one for all the family if you want to and it runs up to an extra large which is a 48 chest 44 waist and 49 hip um, 
And yeah, it's to be sewn up in chinos, cottons, denims, poplins, those sorts of fabrics. I thought our seven berry twir cotton twill would work well. We've got this lovely sort of olivey, khaki sort of green colour and I thought that would work really well. You would need to treat this fabric if you wanted it to be waterproof, um, but if you just wanted like a lightweight chuck on parka and you weren't too worried about it being waterproof, this, this would be great. Um, and yeah, I think that would be another sort of timeless classic staple jacket to have in your wardrobe. The next style is the classic biker jacket. So again, these have been around for so long. They've come and gone in over the decades, but they always come back. So, um, I think they'll always be in style in some shape or form and they're kind of like the jacket equivalent of the classic white t-shirt really aren't they they're just one of those jackets that really uh, most people have probably had at some point i know i've got one and i have absolutely worn it to death um so yeah anyway the pattern i chose for this one is the cashmeret canton moto jacket which runs again in a really size inclusive range so it runs from a naught to six 16 is one of the size um, brackets we've got that on the website and then it also goes in a 12 to a 32 and the 32 is uh, goes up to a 62 bust 52 waist and a 62 hip and it comes with cup sizes if you haven't ever used the cashmere patterns if you are someone who is full of busted um, these patterns are great because they run in cup sizes C to H so and they have different pattern pieces for the different cup sizes so it just makes creating something that fits you properly so much easier instead of having to alter most sewing patterns are drafted for a B cup so if you've got a much fuller bust you've got to make a big alteration to those pattern pieces to get it to fit uh, whereas with the cashmere patterns the pattern pieces different pattern cup size pattern pieces come with it and they run from a C to an H so that's a real bonus as well um this one it's just a classic biker jacket um, with the lovely collar and lapels it's got um, zip options for zip pockets you can go for a more cropped version um, or a longer version it's got the classic zip um, to zip up the front. It's got options for zips at the um, sleeve hems as well as a nice little feature. I think it'd be a lot of fun to sew, definitely a project to really get your teeth into. And it can be sewn up in a range of fabrics from boiled wool, boucles, jacquards, denims, vinyls or leathers. I love a classic leather biker jacket because I think they just go with everything. Um, so you might want to have a go at sewing it up in leather. If you do, I've got some tips on our blog about sewing with leather. I think it's on the blog. It might be on the vlog, but I'll try and remember to put a link below for you. Um, just things like using a Teflon or a leather sewing foot, uh, using the right needles. There's lots of tips on how to sew darts and that sort of thing. But I'll try and put a link to all that below for you. But the fabric I chose for that one is this cotton melange fabric, um, which is one of our suiting fabrics. I think this might be a dead stock as well. All the details are on the website there and I'll pop links below for you. But I just thought in that classic sort of black tweedy sort of effect, um, fabric it would look great so that was my choice for that one and then the next one is the classic bomber jacket so again a jacket style that's kind of been around forever um, and it has seen a real resurgence this year so um, people talking about wearing it to add volume um, at the top of an outfit and then pairing it with like a pencil skirt and pointy kitten heels um, for like a really contemporary look but then just as easy to just chuck on with trousers or jeans you know and this is one that I haven't got well I have got one but um yeah I'd, I could do with another one really um and yeah just an, a nice easy to wear fun to sew probably a pretty easy jacket to sew as well and the pattern I chose for this one was new look 6545 um, and it's just got all those classic bomber jacket features it's got raglan sleeves a zip up front um, it suggests uh, like a band at the hem um, cuffs and then a little collar and it runs up to a size 18 which is a 40 inch bust 32 waist and a 42 hip and it can be sewn up in brocades corduroys denims flannels ponties 
poplins, satins, silky types. So lots and lots of different options there. I love a silky bomber jacket. I've got to say as well, actually, I've seen a lot of leather ones this year. That's really fashionable. Um, a new option or alternative to the biker jacket. Um, but I love the idea of making a silky one in like a really sort of standout fabric, which is why I chose this John Caldor Ursula fabric that we've got, which I think might be in the sale actually, but I just thought that would make such a cool bomber jacket. And then you could use a contrasting cuff um, and hem band in like black or like that aubergine colour or perhaps even pink. Um, but I just thought it would make a real sort of standout feature jacket. I thought it would look really cool and you could just wear that with jeans and a t-shirt. Um, if you're not into something so jazzy, um, then denim would be a great alternative option. And I've got a nice denim here to show you. This one's lovely. It's got tensile in it. So um, it's got a bit of stretch, but it's like not too massively heavy either. It's probably just the right sort of weight for a, a nice smart bomber jacket. So I thought that would work really well. And you could use this for the biker jacket as well. You know, you could use it for the park and most of them can be made in denim as well. So lots of options to mix and match these fabrics as well, uh, which brings me nicely onto the next one, which is the classic denim jacket. Everybody needs a denim jacket, surely. I've got two, I think, maybe more, I don't know. Um, but this is the Style Arc Stevie Jean jacket and um, it's a really contemporary looking denim jacket. It's an oversized fit. It's got lots of lovely details. It's got a yoke across the front, a yoke across the back, loads of top stitching options, patch pockets at the top and then welt pockets. I think they're welt pockets at the side. Um, and yeah, just loads of options for that de lovely top stitching detail. Definitely a bit more of a challenging so this one, someone who's a little bit more experienced. This one also runs in a really size inclusive range. So it runs up to a size 30, which is a 58 and a quarter bust, 50 and a half waist and a 61 hip. And I've just shown you this denim. You could certainly sew it up in that sort of classic indigo colored denim if you wanted to. But I also had a little bit of a brainwave this morning I thought, well, we're looking ahead to spring now. And last year I bought this gorgeous spearmint coloured um, denim and I thought, oh, actually, a lovely pastel coloured denim jacket would be really nice for spring. Um, so I thought I'd show you that one as well as another option. And then the next jacket style I wanted to show you was um, the anorak or sporty style jacket, I think. These are always super useful to have in your collection as well. And the pattern I chose is by Named Clothing and it's the Circa Hooded Jacket. So it's a very sort of like technical looking jacket. It's an anorak. It's got st like a storm flap over the zip at the front. It's got a big sort of um, patch pocket on the front as well. Drawstrings at the waist and at the sleeve hems. Um, like a high collar, a hood, again, lots of top stitching detail, loads of stuff to really get your teeth into here. Definitely a bit more of an advanced sew again. Um, and the fabrics it suggests are lightweight outerwear fabrics. Um, so you might want to choose like a technical fabric for this if you wanted it to be waterproof and I haven't got any of those to show you but you also could sew it up in the seven berry twill or you could sew it up in one of the denims. Um, I brought this seven berry twill up to show you as well actually because it does come in different colours. Um, so this was a really pretty like wisteria colour that was super, super popular last year. And I just thought I'd show you that in case anyone fancied something a bit different to like the classic sort of khaki olivey colour. Um, and we've also got like the classic beige uh, trench coat colour as well, um, which they've used on the pattern packet. Um, so the Circa hooded jacket runs up to a size uh, 28 I think it is yeah 28 which is a 52 and three quarter burst 46 and a half waist and a 55 and seven eighths hip so really size inclusive again there and then finally I think I've shown you this in a couple of other videos before but you can't be a classic trench can you these they this is another style that's been around forever 
I've got a trench coat that I bought oh years ago when I went back to work after I had my first child and he's 12 now and I still wear it and I still love it it's, it's never gone out of fashion um, and the, the pattern I chose was name clothing again the Isla trench coat it's got all the classic trench coat features it's double breasted front it's got a, a waist a, a tie at the waist it's got the lapels, it's got storm flaps um, coming down off the shoulders, it's got um, little belts to put round the sleeves at the hem, it's got a storm flap at the back, loads of options for top stitching again. I think this would be the sort of project that you would just feel like an absolute sewing guru if you tackled this one and made it. I think it could be really beautiful and it'd be something you would treasure forever. Um, this one runs up to a size 28 eight as well so that's the same as those sizes I just read out on the previous pattern um, and again I would go for the seven berry swill on this one we've got the classic trench coat beige colour we've also got a lovely sort of cerise hot pink that would look awesome as well like if you wanted a nice pink mac and um, one of our lovely customers I think made this this particular pattern a while ago we made it in one of our uh, cotton sateens um, and it looked absolutely gorgeous so yeah definitely another one to give a go so I hope you've enjoyed that do check out the links below everything's there any of the patterns or fabrics if you like what you see today please like and subscribe and I'll look forward to seeing you next time